Now, when we say work with Active Workspace from your native CAD tool, um, of course, we, we integrate directly into Annex and Solid Edge because, you know, there, there, are, there are kids. Uh, they're part of the Siemens portfolio. So we integrate greatly into them. But we also integrate to the other CAD softwares out there. So if you're dealing with Creo, SolidWorks, Inventor, uh, even uh, AutoCAD and Katia, you know, Active Workspace and Team Center, for that matter, integrates well into each one of these products and you work directly out of each one of your CAD tools. That way you stay within your product all the time. If you if you don't want to venture out, you can stay within it, do all the tasks that you need, do your searching. And if you're used to some of the other interfaces, you know, they were kind of, they still got the job done, but there were a lot of mouse clicks and a lot of going in and out. So let's take a look at, say the, uh, let's take a look first at the NX interface and how Active Workspace integrates within, then we'll take a look at a, at a solid edge. So let me get out of this and now mind you guys, I've got two CAD products open in a VM running. So if anything goes wrong, <laughs> okay. So here, you know, if I load up NX, I could do it either out of a, uh, a, of a script or, you know, launch it from a script and go directly into in the moment I say that and I open up NX, go into my Reuse library, I get the little spinning tool. It'll show, Active Workspace will show up in the bar, either on or where we you have your, your menu bars set up. I happen to have mine over here, but it's the same look that I had over there in the web page. You know, I get my name up here, um, what group I belong to, and important, most importantly over here within NX and when you're dealing with a CAD product, you know, your revision rule, what it's set at. You can quickly go in there and change it around. You still get all the same search functionality that we did over there in the uh, inside the actual HTML site. So here I've got a dump truck that I pulled in. I just looked up the various numbers. I still get all my filtering tools so I can look at, you know, individual item revisions. I can go down and see, you know, which group, you know, which parts were made by engineering, which parts were made by, you know, say the DBA who imported it in. I can also take a look at uh, all the item revisions and quickly get feedback of, okay, how many item revisions, how many are, like I got templates that are part of the 000 search, things like that. So I get the same feedback that I did on, on the HTML side. So even there, so there's a, I'm taxing my server. So let's just go to this guy here. So, you know, I'm getting the same information that I'm getting over there in my uh, in my HTML side, but I can quickly go in and bring up the parts that I need to open. You know, I can quickly go in there, do a search, and bring up the individual components that I need to work with. In this case, it's a dump, this is a dump basket, a little Lego truck that I brought in from... Uh, actually started this off in solid edge and then brought it into uh into an x so i could quickly you know work find whatever i need to work in over here i can do my searches find my parts drag them and you know open them up within my native cad tool and not even leave this particular interface you know i haven't jumped over to another another web page i can look for a keyword search you know, I can look for windshields, and apparently I got two of them in here. One was created in 2017, one was created in 2018, you know, which is which. I can go through my filtering tools again and say, you know what, just show me the one that was made in 2018. And I was like, okay, there's my part. I can do lots of things with this. You know, there's, there's my particular windshield component. Say I needed to go ahead and submit this to a workflow. You know, I got all the same tools that I had over there inside the inside the rich client i mean inside the the rich client inside the web browser you know i can go ahead and you know submit this to a developmental release you know say so it doesn't need to go out to production we need to get quotes you know say we're going to send it to bob we gotta go get a quote from bob so i'm gonna go ahead and you know get a developmental release that way, you know, it's not quite full into production, but it's, 
you know, at least it's locked. It's going to be locked down that way. You know, if anybody decides to come over here and try to change it, they know that, hey, this has been sent out, you know. So part of the workflow, you know, part of the workflow, re you know, requires a self-review so I can view this within my CAD product. You know, requires a self-review and assigning other people to the actual, you know, getting a checker to go off and review it. So part of my job over here is it's going to come directly to me. So I pretty much bypass the step. If I go home and actually show you, I have four tasks waiting for me, and one of them is going to be the windshield. So there's my there's my sign off I need to perform. All the targets that are associated with it, I can go in there and either from here or from the actual, if I dig down to it, I can approve it. I can give it some, you know, some comments and things, but I can select everything. I haven't left my, uh, I haven't left the, uh, the, the CAD integration. I'm doing everything within, you know, within this actual interface. So it makes things a lot easier. It streamlines things, you know, if you don't, you're not having to jump from system to system. You're logged in once. So there's my there's my checker. He's gonna go ahead and check this. Oops. Got finger happy there. There we go. Check this to send the bob. And then I can go off. It can. It'll send email notifications out. You know, part of. You know, part of uh, Team Center. Team Center's uh, functionality is that it'll go off and and send emails out. You can actually go in and take a look at where this thing is in process too. If you needed to, we could do a search for it, take a look at it. So in the meantime, you know, say uh, the manager. You know, the manager needs to come up. He'll go in and he'll log in. You know, this could be somebody across the office or, you know, across, you know, across the country, you know, sitting on his mobile device. He can get tied into the same to the same interface and come in and, you know, say work on his, you know, going through his task. And there's the windshield. Take a look at the component. You know, since this is a developmental. Since it's a developmental uh, workflow, there's not too much interrogation needed but you can go and take a look at the windshield if he needed to there is attached parts to it but in essence he can get his job done too you know you can go ahead and approve it and that way and then you get notified and the CAD designer would get notification as well that hey you know this now has a release status on it it would show up in his database and let me see if I can there we go. Whew. You know, so once this refreshes over here on this side, I go in and there's my windshield part. Now it has a little status flag. It's been released out. So this, in, you know, this particular instance, I haven't left the database yet, but still, you know, each one of these parts has been put through a workflow, sent through, have it checked. And it's also been, I'm adding another component. That's how much I I know NX on my end, but each one you know has gone in. It's got it's got a it's got a status symbol. So, you know, I've I've done this all within the comfort of my CAD product.